All right. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. Call her Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Padash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, Sensei Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. And uh, as usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kodash. Okay? And um, basically, this um, this lesson is going to be Oslakia. Today's date, for the record, is um, February 6th, uh, 2020, the year of prophecy. All right? And uh, this um, this lesson is going to be um, basically inspired land back pretty much you know um from this video from elder apostle gabar okay his, his channel is called daily edification daily ex exhortation okay S subscribe to it always edifying like i said that's one of the elders okay and uh, he did a video entitled raw okay <laughs> kind of like eddie eddie uh eddie murphy you remember he did that that stand up raw okay uh odb old dirty bastard you know, that's how we like it, baby, raw, all right? Yeah, baby, we like it raw, all right? Over here, we want it raw, all right? <laughs> you know, we want that un unadulterated truth, man, okay? You know, what did Paul say? I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole gospel, all right? So anyway, this video is uh, very good, man. I, 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 I suggest you definitely go and uh, watch it, all right? Um... Like I said, Elder Apostle Gabar, daily edification, daily exhortation. And like I said, he got raw. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit of it. All right. He was bas it was basically a land back from the Elder um, Manata Zakba, I believe. Um, he did a video entitled, Why Do Many Israelites Fall Out of out, Fall Out or Have a Problem with This Truth? I haven't watched that yet, but I'm, I'm going to check that out next. But, um, you know, the spirit jumped on me, so I, ha I had to... Um, you know, I got I got a land back on this, all right? Um, so before I play um a little bit of what he said, um, let me hit a couple of scriptures, all right? You know, and I, that's why I'm gonna entitle this video "Raw." Okay, probably yeah, baby, we like it raw. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, inside joke. Okay, you guys who know uh, you know know that song ODB. Anyway, um. All right, uh, I'm going to start with the first scripture. I'm going to start with is going to be Jeremiah. And like I said, going into Rakak with Dash as usual. All right, Lord is willing to be edifying. So this is um, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 18, okay? It reads, Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will not make a full end with you, okay? And he's talking about Yasharala, Israel, okay? Okay, it says, And it shall come to pass, when, when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord Yahweh, our power, all these things unto us, okay, then shall thou answer then shall thou answer them, like as ye have forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. See, this is a future prophecy, okay, pertaining to right now, okay? Alright? You see? So this is talking about the prophets into and, and, and the people, alright? Basically, in a nutshell, all right, starting from the elder apostle, elder Tahar on down, and the men on the highways, the prophets, okay, coming back, standing in our lot, okay, and we're out there on the highways and the byways prophesying, all right, the downfall of this wicked, sinful kingdom, Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, all right, and not just in America, Babylon the Great, where we're scattered, you know, we got camps all over, but nonetheless, we got the prophets out there warning you people to repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? All right, and who who's who's coming and inquiring? All right, the the other nations also, uh, of course, Esau, Edom, Moab, Ishmael. All right, Ammon, the other nations come and inquire. All right, but all chiefly we're out there for our people, Yasharala. Okay, you know, out there fishing for the elect, right? With that sign, with the twelve with the twelve signs, uh, the twelve sign, twelve tribe sign. All right, all right, and the people come unto us and they inquire. All right, what, what, is it, what is this about? All right, what are you guys doing? Are you guys reading the Bible? So on and so forth, right? And then what we edify them, all right, with the scriptures, through not through through the Pavia, Habashim, Habashai, and the Rakak with Dash, right? 
and what we, we tell them that oh, we, we edify them and tell them that what we are the children of the Most High, the Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures. All right. We are those people. Right. And so, so certain uh, curses befell us. Right. And we, we, we go, we, we edify them. Right. All right. And they, they understand. All right. You see, and we, 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 we tell them we're in the conditions that we're, we're in because what we went, we went, we went, we, we were adulterous, man. We went off whoring against, whoring against Yahweh, our power, okay? We went serving strange gods, you know? You know, following heathenistic customs, you know? Following after the nations, chiefly Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite, our, our chief adversary, okay? So I'm going to read this over. Uh, so I know, I know it's like that kind of, kind of what I <laughs> didn't plan on going into that, but hey, that's the spirit. Like I said, it is what it is. And it's probably going to be a long, a long lesson, but it is what it is. It's raw, you know? Yeah, baby, we like it raw. And I do my videos for the sincere Akim and the few Akwath, man. All right? You two-thirds, you're going to be destroyed, man. Thus say if you have about how was shy. All right? All right? So anyway, this is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 18. It says, nevertheless, in those days, and this is talking about now, this is a future prophecy that's taking place as we speak. Nevertheless, in those days... Saith the Lord Yahweh, I will not make a full end with you. Okay, He always kept a righteous, cl a, a righteous cluster, a noble vine, man. Okay, it says, and it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord Yahweh our power all these things unto us? All these curses, man, were going to befall us and overtake us, man. All right, it's uh, chiefly serving our enemies, like I said, like it's going to go into. All right, you know, subject to payment. You know, we were going to go to the enemy in want of all things, man. Thirst, hunger, you know, clothing, you know. You see, so so it says, uh, and we know who the enemy is. Job 9 and, 2, 9 and 24 tells you that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? We know who he is because we're in them times, all right? There had to be a falling away first, which was 70 AD. You know, we discontinued from our heritage. But now what? That man of sin, the red Hebrew Edomite, is, is revealed, okay? His skirt's lifted, all right? So it says, and it shall come to pass when ye shall say, wherefore, wherefore doeth the Lord Yahweh our power all these things unto us? Then shall thou answer them, like as ye have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land, okay? That's why we had to discontinue. That's why we fell, all right? We were, we were worshiping other gods, you know, being wicked. It says, so, so ye shall serve strangers in a land that is not yours. It says, declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not. That's the two-thirds. It says, which have ears and hear not. It says, fear ye not me, saith the Lord Yehowah. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, okay, and that's powerful right there, man. All right, and people like to de deny the power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Foolish, stupid. The fool says in, the, in his heart, there is no power, there is no God, okay. All right, he says, It says, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord Yahweh, who will, it says, Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree? Okay, the waves, the tides, okay, the you got high tide and low tide, but it doesn't, it, the waves never pass, man, unless Yahweh deems it so, you know, and like a, a, a and, and that's a rare case, man, that's called a, a tsunami, all right, you know, when he, when he causes a flood, you know, but and normally it's in a perpetual decree, you got high tide and you got low tide, the, 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 the waves come in and they come out, all right, perpetually, all right, it says, fear ye not me, Saith the Lord Yahweh, will ye not tremble? Will ye will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. It says, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people, who Yasharala, Israel, but this people. Hath a revolted and a rebellious heart. Yeah, they don't want to turn back to the Heavenly Father. They don't want to repent, man. They want to keep worshiping Caesar Borgia. They want to keep loving Esau Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite. 
They want to keep eating abominable foods. They want to keep being wicked, stiff-necked. All right? All right? That's why he said, why should, why should you be stricken anymore? Okay? The whole, the whole head is sick. All right? You stuck in your ways. All right? It says, but this people had their revolting and a rebellious heart. It says, they are revolted and, are, and gone. It says, neither say in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, Yahweh, our power, that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. It says, your iniquities, and what's iniquity? Your sins, your sin upon sin. That's what iniquity is. It says, your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. So despite the contrary, the popular belief, you're not blessed, okay? You're not blessed. You're being preserved, okay? You're, you're being preserved for the day of judgment, man. man and that, that, okay, you're being preserved. You get, you're given rope to hang yourself, okay? You see? So it says your iniquities, back in Jeremiah 5 and 25, it says your iniquities have turned away these things. What? These blessings, all right? All right? So therefore, these curses are going to overtake you in the la in the end. All right. It says, and your sins have with golden slaki, and your sins have withholden good things from you, for among my people are found wicked men. Okay, and that's chiefly talking about we we know two thirds of wicked, but also chiefly the the um the, the heads, man. All right, all right. The idols, your stars, your so-called stars, these entertainers. These athletes and, and, and these and these damn wicked ass pastors in these churches, man, you know, telling our people lies. OK, OK, leading these uh, foolish women astray. OK, these simple, simple people away. All right. Deceiving the people. All right. So it says for among my people are, are found wicked men. It says they lay wait as he as he that setteth snares. It says they set a trap. They catch men. As a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they they are become great and waxen rich. Yeah, like especially in them churches, them whorehouses. All right, all right. It says they are waxen fat. They shine. It says yeah, driving the best 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 uh, cars, best suits. Okay, these Creflo dollars, driving these these damn jets. All right, and 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 teaching our people nothing but lies, man. You know. Leading fo simple, foolish women astray. All right, hey, but hey, as the scripture is going to say, they love to have it so. Okay, it says, it says they are waxen fat. It says they shine. It says, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. And who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. But two thirds of of Yasharala, more wicked than Esau, Edom. Man, they're more of a sodomite than a damn sodomite. Man, you know that Jake do everything to the max. Okay, they they more extra. All right. So it says they are waxen fat, they shine. It says, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. It says they judge not the cause. It says they cause, it says the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. Okay? It says, and the right of the needy do they judge not. Yeah, they teach people not to judge. Okay? You know? That's one of the, the things that they teach you not to judge people. All right? God love God is love. God loves everything. All right? You see? So it, says, so it says, verse 29, Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord Yahweh? Okay, and he's, he's about to visit. He's visiting now, all right? And it's about to turn up, all right? He said he's going to start at the house of Israel, man, all right? At the heads, okay? So it says, Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? All right? Because judgment is going to start at the house of Israel. It says, a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land, all right? And we know Yasharala, Jerusalem, Israel, we're a people before a place, and we're scattered, all right? So this judgment is going to fall upon the whole world, man, all right? So it says, the prophets, this is the main point that I wanted, and I, I'm going to play the video, and then we'll jump back into the scriptures. Lucky, I know I went kind of long. I didn't plan on reading the whole chapter, but it is what it is. So, um... Uh, back in Jeremiah 15 and 30, it says, A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. It says, The prophets prophesy falsely. Okay? It says, And the priests bear rule by their means. And my people, this is the main point that I wanted, and my people love to have it so. Alright? They're emotional. They're simple. Alright? 
All right? They're like women, man. Women love to be lied to, man. Okay? As we're gonna, as this lesson is going to um, get into, they love to be told smooth things, okay? Lies, deceits, okay? All right? You see? But over here, we, we love it. We like it raw, man. Unadulterated, okay? All right? That, we want to hear the whole truth, the bitter and the sweet, all right? You see? Then at the end of the day, it's all sweet, man. All right? It is, it is what it is, man. We trying to work out our own salvation with fear and tremble, all right? It's like with fear and trembling, all right? Yeah, baby, we like it raw. I love it raw. We like it raw, baby, okay? <laughs> all right? So it says the prophesied, flocky, flocky, the prophets prophesy falsely. That's those wicked pastors, all right? And in Israel, you got wicked-ass uh, wicked prophets and teachers, man, telling lies, man, that the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is not important, okay? You can call them whatever you want, all right? You, the, that the RFID microchip is not the mark of the beast, that you can take it and pull it out at the last second, prophesying falsely, lies, deceits, okay? All right? That the, that the law is done away with, all right? Wickedness, that's right? So it says the prophet, a, a 5 and 30, a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, all right? Slander, slander the men of the Lord, okay? Uh, you know, call us pedophiles and, 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 and shit, all right, all right, lie, tell lies, man, it says the prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, it says that my people, Yashavala, two-thirds of Israel, and my people love to have it so, and what will ye do in their end, in the end thereof, Slaki? yeah, you didn't, con you're not considering your latter end, you're gonna get judged, okay, talking about you're not supposed to judge. You're going to get judged by the supreme judge, all right? You're trying to cover the face of the judges thereof because you're of your father the devil, all right? You're wicked. But guess what? Yahweh Shai is returning, man, and he's about to judge. He's about to judge rule and righteousness, all right? That's the raw, unadulterated truth, all right? So, lock it. so I'm going to play a little bit of this video. Like I said, daily edification, daily exhortation, uh, Elder Apostle Gabor. Uh, his channel, is, I mean, the title of the video is called Raw, okay? And it's Raw. Yeah, and I, and I, got, I got children. Guess what? If the Most High decide to take them, he takes them. I can't be worrying about them. First of all, they're grown anyway. They take their own path. I can't be worrying about them. I have a hard enough time worrying about me, Okay? Hoping that I make it through the coming destruction. And it's going to be one hell of a destruction. You know how we know? Because we can see it, man. We can see it according to the scriptures. Okay? The prophets were called seers. The word seer means visionary. We can see the, the, the lumen uh, destruction that is coming. Okay? The lumen destruction. We can see it, man. And it's going to be one hell of a destruction. One brother made a video that said his son was a sodomite. You still got to go on in the truth. You can't get all messed up because your child, your son want to be a damn unicorn or your daughter want to be a lesbian and you can't see how you supposed to distance yourself from that. And you getting all messed That's right. Up. You got to, in this truth, you really got to have a, a, I don't give a fuck attitude. That's the kind of attitude. As long as I please you, how about Shimei Shai? Fuck everybody else. <laughs> That's the attitude you got to have to be in this truth. As long as I please you, how about Shimei Shai? Fuck everybody else. Okay? So, if I please Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, by, by default, I'm going to please the brotherhood. And the brotherhood's going to be pleased with me. And everybody else, fuck them. Okay? That's right. That's the kind of attitude you got to have being in this truth. Okay? And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. That's right. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his, loses his life for my sake shall find it. Well, I got to say, and I've never lived. Right now, I'm just existing. I've never lived. Now, in the kingdom, I'm going to be able to live because I'm going to have slaves. I'm going to have acres of women, acres of land. I'm going to have every fucking thing that my heart desire. Thus saith the Lord, all right, according to the Holy Scriptures. But in this life, forget about it. I've never lived, okay? I've never lived. I'm just existing. And the only reason I'm here is to teach the word of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. That's the way I see it. That's the only fucking reason that I'm still here. To teach the word of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. 
And I, I, I even said, oh, yeah, how about Shemiah Shai? If you're going to take me out of this truth, just take my life. Because I don't want to be here, man. I don't want to be in this fucking world, all right? I hate this fucking world. I've always hated this fucking world. Because it's not my world. It's not for me, all right? You look around, you see. Definitely, Khan. Go watch this whole video. Like I said, it's on fire. Um, and that just brought another scripture into my mind. It says they hated their life unto death. All right. Who who is that talking about? Okay. It's talking about the men that the men on the highways and the byways, man, and on the unicorn. All right. The internet. Okay. Sign and crying for all the abominations done in this place, man. Done therein, man. All right. We hate this fucking place, man. Destroy this place. Wa abad babal. All right. This place can't be destroyed quick enough. And that's the raw, unadulterated truth, man. And yeah, baby, we love, we like it raw. We love it raw, okay? And a lot of you motherfuckers are emotional, man. And emotions cloud judgment, all right? You're not austere. You're not, you're not, you earn not knowing the scriptures, man. That's the, that's just the raw, uncut, uncut truth, man. Go watch this whole video, like I said. You get the idea. You, 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 you get the point, okay? The whole video was edifying. It was on fire. Okay, but but hey, this pe our people, man, Yasharala, they 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 love this world, man. All right, they're of their father, the fucking devil, Esau, Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite. All right, one more time, it says a wonderful and a horrible thing, Jeremiah five and thirty. Mat matter of fact, five and twenty nine. Okay, it says, shall I not visit for these things? saith the Lord Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Okay. And I'm gonna rattle these scriptures off. Uh, Lord's willing, it'll it'll um it'll be edifying. All right. This is Jeremiah six and sixteen. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Stand ye in the ways, and seek and ask. For the old path, okay? Because what we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Alright? It says, Where is the good way? And walk therein. Alright? It says, Where's the good way? Found in these scriptures, these statutes, these laws, these laws, alright? These statutes and commandments, alright? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Our heritage, alright? Alright, we were we discontinued from our heritage, alright? But now is the time to seek the old ways, you know? Rehearse the righteous acts, man. <laughs> But what? And, and I brought this up because um, to, to, to the point of the video, Raw, right? The, the, you know, they, they calling us pedophiles and this, that, this, that, and the third about uh, the age of consent, all right? You know, and I'm, just to touch on it real quick, I'm not going to go deep into it, but it's common sense. When, when, a, when a woman uh, comes on a flower, she, she's a, she becomes a woman, man. When a girl, my bad, so like when, a, when a girl, all right, a child, a girl... Whenever she receives a flower, she's a woman, man. All right, she's a, she's a ready for marriage. Now, do you have to marry her at that age? No, you know. But nonetheless, she can bear children, man. All right. And in the ancient world, that was our custom. All right. But 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 what does it say? Because that's what the whole theme of Raw was, and also what this uh the elder Manata Zakba, I believe it's his name, uh was was going into. All right, which I'm pretty sure you know already. All right. And our stance on that. All right. But that was the old paths. All right. We we're rehearsing the righteous acts. But what, what did it say in Corinthians? What did Paul say? All things. This is first Corinthians chapter six, verse 12. It says all things are lawful unto me. All right. We know all things are accurate. All things are true. But what? All things are not expedient. All right. It's not convenient. It's not profitable. All right. When you look at that word expedient, one of the definitions is profitable. It's not profitable to do it this time and juncture because what this is in our kingdom. OK, for example, one of the laws is if you're if, if, if someone is a sodomite, a homosexual, a lesbian. All right. All right. You're supposed to put that person to death, but you can't do that. You can't keep that law. OK, because this is in our kingdom. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The red Hebrew Edomite, man, the Idumeans. This is their land. This isn't our land. We're in captivity. Okay, we are yet this day subject to payments, man. All right. All right. It said, render unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, man. Okay, so all things are lawful, but not expedient. But certain laws you can keep, man. 
such as the dietary laws, to the best of your ability. All right, you know, but even that you can't keep fully because you you didn't you're not you know we don't own, we don't own the factories. We're not you know we don't know how the things are manufactured. We don't know what Esau is slipping into the into the damn products. You could be slipping all type of pork and all type of abominable ingredients into it and not even telling you. So, hey, you got to, that's where faith and grace comes into, okay? We walk by faith, not by sight. But nonetheless, you have to rehearse, try, okay? You see? And like I said, definitely that whole age of consent, it's not, it's not expedient, man, all right? Uh, common sense, you know, wouldn't do no stupid shit like that, all right? You, then you'd be breaking the law, man. Okay, that's that's not expedient. That's not profitable, and we don't practice that. But it's in the scriptures, so we got to teach you, man. But but sometimes it's not even it's not even worth bringing things out because some people are not on that level. All right, they're on a low level, man. They can't even they can't even drink the the milk yet. Okay, you know. They, so you get what I'm saying. So this is First Corinthians ten and twenty three. It says all things are lawful. It's Paul again. It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. All right? Some things are too deep for you, man. Okay? Go over your head. Okay? You see? So, anyway, let's get back to the to the, to the main point. Because we like it raw, man. We keep it, it. It is what it is. We're not offended, man. We're not offended in Yahweh, in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Nothing in this scripture is offensive, man. All right. We're not emotional. OK. So it says back in Jeremiah, chapter six, verse 16, like I said, seek the old past. Right. But like I said, not all things are, are lawful at this. But not all, all things are not expedient at this time and juncture. OK. Don't be fucking simple. OK. All right. So thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, stand ye at a. That's why I said, wait, wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey. OK. You know that our time is going to come. All right. When righteousness is going to reign on the earth, man. All right. But as of yet, we're yet this day in our captivity. All right. All right. This is in our kingdom. This is Esau Edom's kingdom. All right. This is his age. This is his empire. Okay. But what? E Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Anyway, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. See, Jake don't want to don't want to fucking turn back to you. How about you, how was shy? They don't want, they hard, they stiff neck, man. You know, two thirds got to get cut off, man. They not going to turn, but they, oh, they not going to repent. Okay. It says, but they said, we. it says, slock it. Six and 16, one more again. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Stand ye in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths. It says, where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. All right? Because what? You like to be told smooth things, man. You want to you want to hear deceits, man. Okay? They love to have it so. They love to see. Back in Jeremiah 5 and 31, the prophets prophesied falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. All right? You love to have them wicked ass rulers over you, man. Okay, the wicked kings, okay, wicked governors and tutors, okay, it says that my people love to have it so, okay, so back in Jeremiah 6 and uh, 16, uh, 6 and 17, it says also I set watchmen, okay, and those starting from the head apostle, Elder Sahar on down, okay, the prophets, okay, out here warning you, the seers, okay, warning you of the impeding doom, all right, the doom and gloom, the prophets of doom, all right, the perennial prophets of doom and gloom warning you of the of the Jacob's trouble, man. All right, of the RFID microchip, of Jacob, of, of the martial law, race wars, okay, famine, pestilence, all right, a time like never before. Repent, okay. It says also I set watchmen over you, over you, not under you, not beside you, over you, okay. Like I said, starting with the head apostle. Elder Tahar on down, man. That's why we say we give double honors to the apostles that rule well, okay? Because there's order. There's always order, okay? But you people hate order, all right? You want to do your own thing. You love to have it so, all right? You're unruly, okay? Okay? So it says, also, I set watchmen over you. 
saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. And we're blowing the trumpet, constantly warning you people, all right? Warning you, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, all right? Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, who? Yasharala, Israel, two-thirds. But they said, we will not hearken. It says, therefore, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Okay? It says, Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil. And like the elder apostle Gabar always brings out, evil means bad times. Bad times is about to befall this place. It says, I will bring evil. Who is the I? Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearken unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it, okay, you see, so I'm going to keep pushing, all right, this is uh, Job chapter 38, verse 1, then said the Lord Yahweh and answered, sorry, then said the Lord Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge, and that's what two-thirds do, okay, all right, especially pertaining to that whole age of consent and the flower thing, man. Okay, all right, slandering the brothers. Okay, all right. When it's plain, it's simple. It's, it's common sense, man. All right, all right. It says, "Who is the who is this that darkeneth the counsel by words without knowledge?" You got no precept to back up anything you people say, man. You just vain deceit, man. Slander. Okay, slander the men of the Lord. Okay. It says, gird up now thy loins like a man. Stop being emotional, okay? Stop acting like a little biatch, okay? It's plain, it's simple, okay? All right? It, hey, we be, it's raw. We like it raw, man. The whole truth, the whole nitty gritty, okay? It is what it is. Some of your family members might, might not make it, man. All right? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your son might not make it. Your daughter, your wife, your mother, your brother, your sister, okay? Your love, your grandmother, okay? It is what it is, all right? Hey, some of the men on, on the highways and the byways, but you might not make it, man. Okay, it is what it is. The Lord will have mercy on whoever he'll have mercy upon, okay? Hey, just pray that you get be saved, okay? All right? So it says, who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge, okay? You err not knowing the scriptures, man. All right. It says, gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Okay. I'll keep pushing. All right. I don't want to make it too, too long. Hit a, hit, hit a couple more. It says, um, I'll read this. Uh, I'll read this one. So this is Job uh, 40 and 6. Then answered the Lord Jehovah unto Job out of the whirlwind and said, gird up thy loins like a man. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. It says, will thou also disannul my judgment? Okay, because that's what's going to stand. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's judgment. Not your vain judgment and deceits. Okay, who the hell are you to, 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 to argue with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? All right? He's the one that set the foundation of time, you damn demons. Okay? All right? At the end, his judgment is going to stand. His word is going to stand. His counsel is going to stand. His men are going to stand. Okay, his nation is going to stand, his people are going to stand, and every everybody else is going to bow, okay, and be obedient and serve, okay. It says, will thou also disannul my judgment? Will thou condemn me? Yeah, who the hell are you to condemn the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Who the hell are you to argue with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Who the hell are you? Okay, you didn't make your goddamn self, okay. It says, it says, gird up thy loins like, it says, gird up thy loins now like a man. Stop being fucking emotional, okay? I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. Stop with your excuses. Stop with your bullshit, okay? All right? Lean not upon your own understanding, okay? Fear the Lord, man. It says, will thou also disannul my judgment, all right? Yahabashim Yahabashim hates Esau Edom. He hates the so-called white man, Okay? As it is written, Jacob have I lo loved, Esau have I hated. Who the fuck are you to, 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 to argue with him, all right, and fight and try to save him? It is what it is, all right? He's going to get Obadiah 118, man, all right? 
All right. It says, will thou also disannul my judgment? No. As it is written, two thirds of Israel is going to get cut off. You can't serve. You can't save all of Israel. At this point, uh, at, at juncture in time, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai does not. Hey, all of Israel is going to get saved in the end. All right. But as it is written, um, uh, uh, Israel have not see, uh, obtained that what is what what, it, what they have seek. Uh, Israel have not obtained that which it seeketh for, but the elect have, but the elect have obtained it. All right? What is that? Salvation. All right. Two thirds ain't trying to get saved. Two thirds don't believe they need to be saved from anything. Two thirds believe they're blessed. They they think they're good here in Babylon the Great. They want to stay here, man. All right. They don't believe Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. All right. They don't believe they have enemies. They don't believe uh you know they don't believe the Lord hates and judges and all this stuff. Okay. So they're what? They're gonna die here. They're gonna be get. They're gonna be left here in Babylon the Great to be, to be destroyed, man, by thermal nuclear destruction. Okay. Okay. So it says, "Gird up thy loins now, like a man. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. Will thou also disannul my judgment? Will thou condemn me, that thou mayest be righteous? Yeah. So you can be righteous. All right. Because you don't want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to be righteous. Okay. He said. Being a sodomite is a and is an abomination unto him, right? But you don't want to hear that. You want to do your own damn thing, okay? You want to keep eating your crab, your lobster, your shrimp, scampies, and all that bullshit, all right? Swine and all that nasty shit. So you can be righteous, okay? It says, "Wilt thou also disannul my judgment? Wilt thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous?" Has thou an arm like Yahweh, like power, like God? Has thou an arm like God? Or canst thou thunder with a voice like him? Exactly. You hear the thunder, you tremble and you fear because you recognize the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Who the hell are you to argue with him, man? Okay. It says, deck thyself now with majesty and excellency and array thyself with glory and beauty. Cast abroad the rage of of thy wrath, and behold everyone that is proud, and abase him, okay, all right, it says, look on everyone that is proud, and bring him low, and tread down the wicked in their pride, okay, that's beautiful, I can't wait for that day, man, when you eat that humble pie, okay, then they shall know a prophet have been amongst them, okay, in that day, all right, keep pushing for the sake of time, uh, Oh, it's beautiful. I started 30, 30 and 6. Isaiah 30 and 6. The burden of the beast of the south into the land of trouble and anguish. From whence come the young and the old lion, the viper and the fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the, the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the, upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose therefore have i cried concerning this their strength is their strength is to sit still now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of the lord Yahweh. okay this is talking about yasharala okay Israel, which is the main point, which say to the seers, the prophets, okay, starting from the head apostle, Elder Tahar on down, man, okay, the men of great millstone, you know, and the other prophets out there, the other men out there uh, teaching the same sound doctrine, man, all right, it says, which say to the seers, see not, okay, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, this would because they love to have it so falsely, man, all right, it says, um, Salakia, Isaiah 30 and 9, that this is a rebellious and lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Okay, they want to hear lies, man. Okay, they want to hear, they want to hear their own thing. All right, all right. Just like a woman loves to be lied to, that's how these men are, man. In Israel, Yasharala, period, two-thirds, man.
they're emotional, all right, they want their fucking, uh, their, 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 their needs catered to, man, okay, okay, it's not about you, it's about obeying and serving the Heavenly Father and fearing Him, man, okay, all right, it's not about doing your own thing, okay, it says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, Get ye out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Because what we're supposed to be seeking the old path, right? I brought that out already. All right? The straight gate. All right? The straight and narrow, which is a position of difficulty. All right? They want to go into the broad, the broad gate, the broad path. And broad is the way that lead it to destruction, man. All right? But they don't want to hear, hey, stay on the tight and narrow. Tighten up. All right? They don't want to hear that rebuke, that, that rebuke, that reprove. Okay? All right, they don't want to hear that judgment, that correction, okay? It says, get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Yasharala to cease from before us, okay? You see? A couple more, we out of here. All right? And um, I, like I said, they're of their father, the devil, man. That's why they like that. They're like that. Let me bring this out first. This is John chapter 8, verse 44. This is, let me put the red letter on. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, okay? All right? Straight out of who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right? Yahweh Shai, a so-called black man, a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah, okay? It said, ye are of your father, the devil, all right? Who is he talking about? Two-thirds of his own people. Yasharala, okay? All right. It says, ye are of your father, the devil. All right. And the lust of your father, ye will do. All right. Who is the devil? He's talking about Esau, Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite, the Idumians. All right. The so-called white man. All right. All right. And and, and, and if you got to understand it, it's, it's also going back to uh, Cain. All right. The first murderer, the first wicked. All right. He killed his brother Abel. All right. Which if you can receive it, Oh, it's, it's the same thing. Cain and Abel, fast forward, is, is Jacob and Esau, okay? You see? The same spirit, all right? It says, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do, all right? What what did Cain do? He served his flesh, man, all right? He wasn't obedient, all right? He knew what the proper, proper sacrifice was, okay, to bring unto Yahweh Shai, but he brought what? The, the fruit of the land. And what did Abel bring? The the, first, the 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 animal sacrifice, right? The first, the best, okay, you know. So it says, it says, ye are of your father the devil, two thirds, man, two thirds of his own people. It says, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, Cain, okay, who was who was also Esau, Edom, if you can receive it, the same spirit, okay. It says he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, okay. It says, because there is no truth in him. Okay, the scriptures say the wicked are strained from the womb, right? They're born speaking lies. Okay, and Malachi tells you that what? The border of wickedness is the Esau, Edom, the Idumia. All right? All right? So it says, he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay, but what? You people love the lies, man. You love the seats. You want to hear smooth things, man. Okay? You love to have it so. Okay? You see? You see what I'm saying? Okay? You want to hear smooth things, the seats. That's why you love Esau Edom. You have your father, the devil, man. All right? He was a murderer and a liar from the beginning, man. All right? And because I tell, I read that over, John 8 and 44, Yahweh Shai said this, man. That's why you reject him. That's why you hate him. And that's why you hate his men, okay? Because we're coming in his steed. We're his mouthpiece, okay? We're warning you. Repent. He's coming back. You don't want to hear it, man. Just like you didn't want to hear it when he was here, okay? Because ye are of your father the devil. In the lust of your father, you will do. What you're going to do? You're going to stand. You're going to slander, all right? You're going to accuse us. Just like Esau Edom does, he's the accuser of the brethren. You got that same spirit. You're going to mock, okay, ridicule, all right? You see? Because ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. If you would have your way, you would put us to death, all right? But we ain't in them times no more. 
All right. The scripture said you were going to see your teachers, man. Your eyes are going to see your teachers. They're not going to be shoved in the corner anymore. OK. All right. Because there's no more cloak for your sins because we're in them times. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. It says he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay? And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Okay? So, on that right there, I think I'm going to shut it down. You get the idea? All right? Hey, over here, we like it raw, man. Unadulterated truth, man. All right? It is what it is. All right? The bitter and the sweet. Okay? All right. So matter of fact, I think I'm going to run it back a little bit. I'm going to close it out with Elder Apostle Gabor again because that was powerful, man. Okay. That was powerful. That resonated with my soul. Okay. I'm going to close it out with Elder Apostle Gabor. Daily edification, daily exhortation, daily exhortation raw. Okay. And like I said, yeah, baby, we like it raw. Okay. It is what it is. We're trying to work out our own salvation with fear and tremble. With fear and trembling. And I suggest you do also, man. Okay? All right? Faggot. Yeah. And, I, and I got I got children. Guess what? If the most I decide to take them, he takes them. I can't be worrying about them. First of all, they're grown anyway. They take their own path. I can't be worrying about them. I have a hard enough time worrying about me. Okay? Hoping that I make it through the coming destruction. And it's going to be one hell of a destruction. You know how we know? Because we can see it, man. We can see it according to the scriptures. Okay? The prophets were called seers. The word seer means visionary. We can see the, the, the lumen uh, destruction that is coming. Okay? The lumen destruction. We can see it, man. And it's going to be one hell of a destruction. One brother made a video said his son was a sodomite. You still got to go on in the truth. You can't get all messed up because your child, your son want to be a damn unicorn or your daughter want to be a lesbian and you can't see how you supposed to distance yourself from that. And you getting all That's messed up. That's right. You got to, in this truth, you really got to have a, a, I don't give a fuck attitude. That's the kind of attitude. As long as I please you, how about Shimei Shai? Fuck everybody else. <laughs> That's the attitude you got to have to be in this truth. As long as I please you, how about Shimei Shai? Fuck everybody else. Okay? So, if I please you, how about Shimei Shai? By, by default, I'm going to please the brotherhood. And the brotherhood's going to be pleased with me. And everybody else, fuck them. Okay? That's right. That's the kind of attitude you got to have being in this truth. Okay? And with that being said, Lord's willing it was edifying. You heard it. Fuck them. All right? <laughs> anyway, like, like we always say, man. Like I always say anyways. We almost out of here, man. Hey, repent, fast, pray. Seek the old path, man, okay? Stop bullshitting. Stop putting off the day of the Lord, okay? Stop putting off the Lord day by day, man, all right? Anyway, Shalom. Wa, Abad, Babal.